Welcome back to Through the Portal. It's been a been a little bit. Sorry for the delay. Uh, I'm Josh, and joined by Ridge. <laughs> if we're back, uh, I had a child that has delayed me a little bit, and Ridge has been fulfilling a Kickstarter, which has delayed him a bit. We have been we've been very busy, but uh, we're back with another episode. This is the show where we break down everything that's happening in the world of Alpha Clash, and we've got a bunch of quick updates. We're going to go through. Uh, today, a lot of stuff you've heard about, and we'll we'll give a little bit more context to. Maybe you haven't. Um, but Ridge, what's what's new? What's 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 happened most recently? Let's let's start with that. Okay. All right. Most recently, we fulfilled the Kickstarter, um, which was a baby. You know, for a very short period of time. Actually, kind of a long period of time, right? Because we ran the campaign, ordered the product, waited for it. You know, did all the logistics and. Uh, yeah, so we, we took care of that. Me uh, and my parents primarily, we had a couple of helpers that could uh, help just um, sporadically. But man, I have to give a shout out to them because we put in the long days for days and days uh, at a time and got it all done. And the packaging level was, uh, t I thought it was amazing. So hopefully everyone else saw that because we spent a lot of time, like I can't, I can't emphasize enough how long just for example if you want to put you know tape on multiple items like there's just one of us that just like tears off tape and makes like big rows of tape and you know that oh we run out of books okay let me go you know I run get it set up like we had a whole process of wow. tables that we had where each of us had a station and then yeah so uh we got that done everyone should have their books in hand uh if you were uh one of the top tier backers I had this one just next to me on my desk uh, then you got the uh, shiny holographic cover. Um, and But yeah, the books turned out amazing uh, and all the product was awesome. So hopefully everyone's really enjoying that uh, because it really was a fun project and it's awesome to see Al's work that he put his heart and soul into, into people's hands. Yes, I got my shipment uh, not too long ago. It's exciting for me to see all of it. Uh, even even on on the team, I ba I had to back at the top tier so I could get that uncut sheet and uh, and the Aster promo. So that's what I was at, uh, that's what I was after. So glad I got that, and they're they're all beautiful. So thank you to everyone that backed that campaign. Uh, and I mean this week this week we launched we we wrapped that one and we we put out our uh, our page for the next one. We're just moving moving yep. right along. Yep, comic book uh, pre launch page is up. And it, if you saw it, it's called Torque Therapy. It's about Torque and his aftermath uh, whereabouts after New York City, which if you've read the book, and I won't spoil too much if you haven't gotten there yet, but um, just kind of uh, picks up where that left off. The comic books are like the, a Disney Plus show where um, you know Marvel movies are kind of like the core, um, if we compare it to, to Marvel. Um, the books are like a Marvel movie the Disney Plus shows would be like the comics and we'll fill in the cracks in the in the story there. But that's coming in April. Stay tuned. We'll announce day, time, all that kind of stuff. But what you should be doing is going to the Kickstarter page. I think we'll put it in the uh, the link in the description. And Josh is doing a giveaway for yeah, those. Yeah, for my, for my personal collection, I'm giving away two, the pair of Alpha Rares uh, from, from Flash Grounds. So and he's more off. generous than I. He's it, I wouldn't be doing this, but Josh <laughs> is doing it. So uh, all you have to do is like, uh, follow, save, whatever it's called on on Kickstarter. I think it's called saving. You save the project on yeah. Kickstarter, Notify so you get not notified. And uh, just send me a screenshot on Twitter or X. Uh, send me a screenshot proving that you've done that, and that will enter you into the giveaway for both of the Alpha Rares valued currently at like $200 based on TCG player. It, you know, even just aside from value, whatever the secondary market values it at, the rarity of those things, um, if you've been a, a someone that is open in packs and looking for them, you know. I haven't pulled one yet. <laughs> I, yeah, I have not pulled one. I, did, I saw one pulled at a pre-release event, which was incredible, and my mind was blown, um, but yeah, that's uh, it's a really cool giveaway. So don't miss out on that. Yeah. So go to my Twitter. We also pinned it on the Alpha Clash Twitter, so you can find it. Uh, and I think it's also important to clarify. I think there's been some people that have struggled with the different types of uh, literature we we've, we've put out as a team. We 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 first had the graphic novel, which is a very very long comic. What was it 100 pages? 140. Pages. 140 pages. Really long comic. Uh, 
then we put out the novel, which is like a chapter book, like that. No, this is a this is a more traditional comic. Uh, it'll be a you know we'll have different variants of it, but it is a thin, uh, shorter, traditional sized comic, and this is something we hope to get in the rhythm of being able to release on a on a regular schedule, um, and will not be a beast of a 500 page book or anything like that. So this right. is a normal normal comic like you find at any comic book shop. Yep. Yeah, the graphic novel is uh, a lot to do because it's 140 pages, which takes a lot of time to, to do that many pages. The novel, 500 pages to type and edit and do that. The comic book, this one is gonna be 44 pages. Um, and so with that timeline, we can really shrink it down um, and, and do that on a more regular basis, hopefully. So uh, yeah, it's a comic book that is uh, more industry standard. For sure. Cool. Uh, what else, Ridge? What else do we got? We have some exciting announcements for distributors. Uh, we yeah, about that email yesterday. Yep. So we have uh, the Wicked Goblin in Australia, and giving a shout out to them. They're killing they, it. They are killing it. They have tons and tons of people in their store. Uh, they are just moving through product. They can't. They can't keep it on their shelves because it's so successful. Um, yeah, so it's really cool to see. Uh, and so we, we, we have them going, uh, and now they're going to expand that network outside of just, you know, a single shop and they already are, and it's spreading, uh, across the country. So I'm looking forward to seeing their, uh, progress, uh, and their game plan is pretty awesome. So then we also have uh, bliss distribution. They're located in the United Kingdom, I think England specifically. Um, but they are awesome and we're super excited to get started with them because uh, we do have a, a few European options at this point. We've got Nahata, we've got Blackfire, and we have Bliss and all of them specialize in different things. And Bliss is really good in the United Kingdom and even you know outside of there as well. But I think uh, it's gonna be really fun to see the growth of Alpha Clash with their customers. Yeah, no, it's, it's exciting to see and you know, I think it's okay to give acknowledgement or credit of other other games that someone someone said recently. Like where we're at currently really reminds them of where Flesh and Blood was right before their boom. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's an exciting place to be. Like you know, it's we're not just in the United States. Like we are, we and we're not just kind of in some countries. Like there's other countries around the world that are having tons of people in shops playing our game. And so it's super exciting. I think I think this is the 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 lightning before the storm. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's it's really fun. You know, the United States is is doing really well. Uh, new distributor in Canada recently, so now we've got a couple of partners up there. Uh, we have three partners in Europe. We have one in Asia. We've got uh, one in Australia, one in New Zealand. Um, hopefully, I I'm not forgetting them. Um, but we do have uh, some more potential uh, distributors in the pipeline in untapped territories currently. So. Stay tuned for those. Hopefully we've got good news on that. For sure. Cool. Oh man, what else? So we've got uh, Clash Ground Manila and Clash Ground Las Vegas next month. It's actually in one month from now. So Crazy. if you haven't signed up, I don't know what you're doing because uh, we've got pre-release events in both locations. So if you are over in Asia, uh, Philippine region, make sure that you sign up and get registered for that event. Uh, and then same with the U.S., you can get your hands on set three product a month in advance with the pre-release kits and then different pricing between with cash pricing uh, between the two events. But then also the top eight, the champion promo, the participant promo, all those things, uh, the play mats, they're incredible. And those are available at both of the tournaments too. Yeah, we're super excited. For, and and uh, we're, we're going to be there. Someone was like surprised that I was going. Uh, Ridge will be there. I will be there. I will be there. Uh Efren, yeah, Garrett. Garrett. my friend will be there. Uh, nope, no Garrett on no this Garrett. one. No Garrett, but yeah, the, um, team, the team will the team will be represented. So if you want some face to face with us, we'll come come to Vegas. We'll even have other familiar faces. Uh, you know, Logan from uh, you know the Alpha Clash podcast, and also Flesh and Pod, Jordy, uh, Quinn, Josiah, other guys that are uh, you know champions for the game and are just incredible uh, people to work with they'll be there so make sure that you meet them too um it's gonna be a really fun event i don't i don't know how else to explain it it's gonna be massive in terms of how many people are actually at the convention 
Uh, but then we actually have a table right next to the tournament going on. So we'll be able to be uh, watching, you know, everything go down. I'm excited to see the meta shake out. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be great. So if you have not secured your place for Vegas or, or in Manila, if you're, if you're in Asia, uh, do that. You don't want to miss out. I, I think this is going to be like the one, our first big event. It's going to be like a historic event, uh, for Alpha Clash. So don't miss out. I know, I know we keep saying that in all these episodes, but, uh, it's, it's a big thing coming up and we, you know, we are very, very excited about it. Um, speaking of set three, pre-orders have technically wrapped. Yep. Pre-orders have wrapped. So if you're a game store or someone that, you know, you forgot to tell your game store to order whatever it is, you need to message, you know, have them message their distributor yesterday. Uh, so that because we're having really good trends and I would recommend that if you want to make sure that you get your stuff, you order it now. Um, and if, if you aren't a game store or you don't buy from a game store, cause not everyone has those, like where I'm from in my hometown, we didn't, we didn't have that. Uh, then Team Covenant is a, an excellent option as well because they have good pre-order, um, exclusive deals with basically you get a discount off of your booster box plus you get the Team Covenant exclusive promo, which was revealed to be Flare Pyroblast Assault. You don't want to miss out on that either. Cool. And no crazy updates on the board game front, except that it's it's going well and it looks great. Uh, I don't know if we have anything we can spoil at the end of this episode, Ridge, but uh, I think I don't want to say it's better than our card art, but it's 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 at least on par with it. Like it's some of our best art we've put out. It or haven't, haven't board, yet. We'll put yeah, out. the board game excites me because um, personally, I think it really just brings out the talents within rising empire studios um not just a card game right it's now we're pumping out novels and comics and board game and the tcg and all of those i genuinely believe are, are really really high quality and this board game is going to be really fun the artwork is like josh was saying it's some of our best stuff and that i know that's really subjective and it's also brand new characters too so we brought brought in um all these new characters and we had a very we have a very cohesive art style across it because we yeah, handpicked yeah. our artists and just had them kind of work together to, to bring it to life. And Wade King is art directing it, making sure that everything's moving along there. Um, and we don't have much to share yet, but it's coming. Uh, we'll be sharing uh, the pre-launch page of which crowdfunding platform we'll actually be going with uh, very soon. We'll be announcing the name of the game We'll be showing off, you know, like the finished, uh, you know, box, like the box art. Uh, and then behind the scenes, we're basically prepping for our very first sample slash demo run because we're going to have this in hand at Gen Con. So if people that go to Gen Con, you're going to be able to play this thing because uh, yeah. we're coming to a crowdfunding platform in the fall. But we're going to be at Gen Con with it first. Sweet. Yeah, I'm excited about that. All right. Um, before we have some spoilers, but before we do that, I think we we, we missed out because we were, were like a couple weeks delayed on this. We need to give out two awards for creators of the month. Two. We missed. We right. missed. Um, okay. So I, I have, have so them. Many of them. Oh, you I have, have it. Oh, I, have, okay. I have them. We are going with the one and only Ryotin. Oh, good choice. Has to be right. I am very, very deserving. Is very deserving. He pumps out a ton of content. It's entertaining. He's passionate. Um, I don't know if there's anyone that read the book more than him. In addition I, to the, all the tournaments, and you know, it's not just it's not just like standard social media content. I, I consider just being part of this community and putting you know hosting something like that. Like that is you're being a content creator. You're creating things on the internet involving Alpha Clash. So yeah. we love that. We support that. Uh, so Ryo Chen will be sending you. Uh, some sealed product along with one of the staff promos, uh, which we're very excited to send your way. The pestilence with the staff staff stamp. Uh, and second is someone who's kind of hopped on the scene recently, but has just been killing it. Uh, handle is X Flesh and Blood X Philip oh, yeah. in Las Vegas. I feel like hopped on just a few weeks ago and is already making a huge splash in the community, huge splash for the game. He is like going to stores getting people signed up he's doing box breaks on youtube he is crushing it uh hopefully you know soon his twitter handle is going to change to uh x alpha clash x but uh <laughs> despite the handle we will 
uh, award him with an additional uh, Creator of the Month award. We'll get him some product and one of these promo cards. So thank you both for everything you do for the community. And thank you everyone who does and continue to do so. We will be giving out this uh, this little award uh, once a month here on, here on the show. Uh, but we appreciate all of you. And again, it's not about views and followers and all that stuff it's about those that are just passionate about creating uh content one way or another for this game that we all love so thank you all uh cool well let's move into a couple spoilers do we do we have anything from the board game we can show or not really oh man um i ha- there's gonna be so much that's gonna be spoiled really soon okay. that i just want to hold it to my chest a little bit longer because it's juicy Okay, well then we do have some comic book covers that uh, we can yeah. show. So, we can definitely show those. Yeah, one one of them, two of them. Uh, we could we could do two. So okay. there's going to be five different covers in the comic book campaign. You've seen the first one with Kyle Petchock, but the others remain a mystery. Um, I'll let you so choose. The two. I'll ch- I can choose. Okay, yep. let's do Kane and White. Let's have him. And let's also do Patrick Brown. Patrick Brown, so good. Yep. Yeah, we have a we have a few different style, like totally different styles for the for the cover, which is which is really cool. So I'm excited yeah. to see what everyone thinks about these. Let us know what you think of of uh, these two or the first three in total. And um, yeah, that that's it. I think. Unless, well, Stay tuned for the tier information on what's coming in the Kickstarter because yeah. uh, we, with each campaign, we learn something new and we just we see what people tend to like on these different campaigns and kind of analyze those. And so hopefully we really dialed these uh, pledges in with each type of collector or person, right? If you're only a comic person, it's great. You know, or if you want, you know, the 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 big tier, like bundle it into something that really has a lot of value for you. So um, I'm really excited to share those. And the campaign page is looking awesome. We've got some really other cool things. And it's going to be coming like a like a storm here soon. Sweet, cool. Well, thank you all. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Go into the giveaway for the Alpha Rares. Stay tuned for everything else, and we'll talk to you later.